Ice JJ Fish, or Daniel McGloy, or whoever his name really is, whatever his name really is, is a troll. Nothing changes the fact that he's a troll. He's a YouTuber that's trying to be funny by singing awkwardly and dancing awkwardly in his videos. Well, less of the latter. And he gets the viewers and he gets the cash from it. People legitimately think that this guy has a mental disorder or something like autism. I know for a fact that the guy doesn't have Asperger's because that's something more on my realm. So don't even make that ridiculous assumption. The guy is a troll regardless of the fact that he's retarded or has Down syndrome or is a pansexual, transgendered, booty pirate, I don't really know. The guy is a troll. I'll say it again until I'm blue in the face and I have to go to the hospital. That's what he is, and he's good at doing it. The guy has his talents. It may or may not be singing, may or may not be dancing, but he was able to get this video directed <laughs> that actually got a legitimate reaction. He was able to get a nice view in San Antonio, Texas. He was able to hire that Mexican Instagram model with the big boobs and the lazy eye. This guy knows his stuff. The composition was neat. The lyrics were alright. Even when he said stuff as absurd as when I see the red light all I know is go. And that's something about your girl video. <laughs> that kind of sounded rapey, but it got a reaction. People noticed that and <laughs> they were laughing. <laughs> Can you say rape? Look, I know what it must be like to have fucked up teeth and a fucked up grill. These dentists don't give a fuck. They get you an appointment. After having a thousand dollar checkup. And then they don't even give you that. I've been trying to get braces since 2010. It's 2014, guys. Somebody fucked up. And it isn't me. And meanwhile, you got this Daniel McGloy guy with his own kind of fucked up grill singing awkwardly and doing these videos that are getting viral on Worldstar and on YouTube. He's finally getting us his big break right now, which is the Internet Redemption next week on Tuesday in Tosh.0. Now, for those of you that don't know, Tosh.0 does this thing called the Internet Redemption where some weird guy from a viral video shows up and Tosh basically tells him, hey, what the hell happened? And then he gets his redemption. He redeems himself in front of a television audience and nationally. And it's awesome. Good on him. I mean, that's how you milk the game. Get big on YouTube, Worldstar, you have your iTunes revenue. This guy really is getting money. And for those of you that are hating on him because he's getting viral and people with actual musical talent in terms of singing and composing stuff, not just to be funny and ironic, that they don't get that same level of success. That level of success is overrated. Let me just say it like that. 
you don't need to be a chart topper to be successful or to be a drawer, even to get a lot of money. You don't have to go viral on the internet. You just have to have a crazy work ethic to compensate for that. Instead of making a song that's viral every now and then, or a chart-topping album or single every now and then, you just gotta do a lot of work on a regular basis. Maybe some mildly successful songs that nobody listens to on a viral basis. That doesn't go viral. It gets like maybe 1,000 or 10,000 viewers at best. Do it on a regular basis and you still got good money. And eventually you could reach that level. Oh, you could probably reach that level a lot quicker because there's less pressure. Because people do eventually lose interest and some things you would expect to go viral don't and some things you don't expect to go viral do. That's just how the internet works. Since 2007, I've known how this works. I used to have videos that had 10,000 viewers, believe it or not. And there were the shitty videos that I just kind of put out there to put out there. And of course, when it gets that much viewers compared to your 10 viewer videos or your four viewer videos, it's going to get bombed with dislikes and death threats. That's how it works. That's the nature of it all. That's the science of the craft. Getting viral is overrated. And sometimes I come back to make a YouTube video and nobody sees it, even if it's a topic that I really like. And I expect other people to like, like, race or history, a certain writer critiquing his works, or things of this nature. Yet if I make a video about a reality TV show that I expect isn't going to get viewers, it gets viewers. It's unpredictable. The internet is a volatile place. And not everything works the way you would expect. Hence the term volatile. So if you are a struggling artist, you just gotta have a more consistent work ethic. Instead of trying to hope that you make the right, you strike the right chord and get big, like a Daniel McLeod or a Ice JJ Fish. The guy knows his stuff. And you gotta learn how to politic the game. Talent is only half. And a smaller half of the equation. The other half is how well you politic the game. And this doesn't just apply for music. This applies for getting ahead in a corporate lifestyle. This applies for getting ahead anywhere. It's not always about your skill in the actual craft, but how you can sell yourself. There's the guys that magically get big by doing one big thing, and there's guys that are consistent. There's the top draws and the workers. Gotta find out which one of those is the right thing for you. Also, get that Mexican chick to appear in one of my videos. The one with the lazy eye. I think she's bad. I just put a blindfold on her and that it's good. No homo at all.